When we look at uh, the productions that venues are putting on, they have a bigger range of shows. It might not just be theatre in one venue and just concerts in another venue, but there's a range of concerts, theatre, dance, comedy, um, conferences. Traditionally, consoles have been pigeonholed into this is a theatrical console, this is a live event console. Um, but we think venues and productions are, are merging, they're blurring the lines between those two, and they have been for, for several years now. And although consoles are starting to blur those lines, we wanted to ensure that we were completely neutral. We, we were equally as good at, at either of these two styles of programming and styles of events. And so when we were looking at Neo X, we wanted to ensure that it was a really great theatrical console, but it was a really great busking console as well. And that affected both the decisions on hardware and the decisions on the software. We spent a lot of time talking to both programmers and designers um, that have worked in both theatre and live event touring and really spend time discussing those smaller features, not the headline features, but things like blind and highlight and, and those sorts of features to ensure that they are designed and they can cope with both the needs of live event touring and theatre. The, the very centre of the X15 is our master playback, a, a very traditionally theatrical user interface. It doesn't mean it's not suitable for, for the concerts as well, but traditionally it's, it's theatrical. But we've also given a, a good number of motorized faders with a good number of buttons and encoders and uh, UI elements to make hands-on control really quick and easy on the console. Uh, a lot of touchscreen real estate, both in terms of the seven inch touchscreen, which allows you to interact with parameters in a really intuitive way, and the, the built-in console. So if you're touring the console, you're having to move the console, um, you don't need to move lots of equipment. It's, it's pick up one console and move it. Today, very light are known for making premium quality luminaires across static and moving light fixtures. But historically, they also made the first moving light console. So when we decided to launch a new very light console, our research and development team were meticulously careful to select components to achieve these high demanding requirements. They picked born motorized faders, they picked cherry keys, and they picked all Nutric connectors. We spent a lot of time ensuring the mechanical enclosure of Neo X series was ready for whatever you might throw at it. We spent time ensuring that things like the hinge screens would be reliable time after time. We spent time ensuring that all the components internally would be just as powerful now as they will be in five years time with whatever new software features we throw at it. So the, the graphics and the processing are a super high standard. We have gone through the software with a fine tooth comb uh, with teams doing testing and feedback to ensure that we have absolutely focused on reliability of the Neo X series. Um, but we also wanted to ensure that it was intuitive, it was quick, it was easy, it was um, fun to use um, and you could be proud of all the features, both hardware and software, that comes with your new console. We've reimagined the user interface of the Neo software to make it really touch friendly um, and really intuitive to move windows, open windows, drag windows around, save them, recall them and just get to the data that you need quickly and easily. Um, and that will be available in the Neo uh, V4 software that is launching at the same time as the Neo X series. Uh, we've also rethought each and every individual window to make sure it's intuitive, it's simple, um, it's touch friendly, um, and so you can just get to stuff that you need to get to quickly. We've really focused on ensuring that you know how to use this console to the best of your ability and you can get the most out of it.